I'm about to show you the fastest way to find a four of a kind. If you just take the deck of cards and give it a little toss, you'll notice I'm left with only four cards. The four aces. I'm about to show you the fastest magic trick in the world. It requires two cards, so we'll just use the top cards. So a black eight and nine, and we'll lose them in different spots of the pack. One closer to the top, one closer to the bottom. We're gonna find those two cards in three seconds. Three, two, one. Two cards are left in my other hand. It should be the black eight and nine. And that is the fastest magic trick in the world. What's going on everybody? John Stessel here with Bicycle Cards. This week on Card Class, we're going to be learning the toss. A super easy and visual way to locate lost playing cards with just a simple toss. Let's do it. This is your verbal walkthrough for the toss. In order to illustrate what happens with the move, I'm going to turn an ace face up on the top and face up on the bottom, because this is actually where you're grabbing the cards from. What happens is you place your four fingers on the bottom of the deck. So your pointer, middle, ring, and pinky, and your thumb along the middle on the top. If the ace of spades was turned over, you would see it's right in the middle of the ace of spades. What you do is apply pressure to the deck of cards and then you bring your opposing hand, in this case my left hand, over to catch the cards. And I place it about three inches below my right hand. What I do next is I make a tossing motion at my left hand, and then I release pressure of the deck. What this is gonna do is cause all of the cards to come out of my hand, except the bottom and top card, which are sticking to my fingertips. And this is really the basic mechanic of the toss. It's apply pressure with all your fingers, have your four fingers on the bottom, thumb on top, and then release a little pressure while your hand is about three inches below to toss all the cards. These two cards will stick to your fingertips, creating a very visual moment of finding two cards. This is your verbal walkthrough for finding the four aces. What your setup is you place two aces on the top of the deck and two aces on the bottom of the deck. You don't let your spectators know that you have prepped the deck of cards. All you have to do now is perform the toss in both hands. So you hold on the bottom with your four fingers, thumb on top, and you perform the toss once. This is going to find the first two aces. Now when you catch it in your opposing hand, you get ready to accomplish the toss again. Thumb presses down, four fingers press down, you perform the toss again, and this is going to leave you with only the four aces in your hand. Now when you perform this, be sure to have a table in front of you or do it on your lap like I did in the performance. This is your verbal walkthrough for the eight and nine trick. What you're going to need to do is take out the eight of clubs, eight of spades, the nine of clubs and the nine of spades from your deck of cards. You're playing on the fact that your spectator will not remember exactly which card was which. You only reference them as black cards, but you don't say I have the nine of spades and eight of clubs because they're gonna switch places later on. So what you do is you place your nine of spades on the top of the deck and your eight of clubs on the bottom of the deck. This leaves you with the nine of clubs and the eight of spades, those go on the top. So now you're ready to perform the trick. You take the eight of spades and nine of clubs and you say, look, I have a black eight and a black nine. I'm going to lose them in the middle. So you actually lose those two cards in the middle of the deck. What the spectators don't know is on the bottom, you have the eight of clubs and on the top, you have the nine of spades, which almost look identical to those two cards. All you have to do to find the two cards now is execute the toss and then show the eight and nine that you had on the top and bottom. Even though they're not the same cards, your spectators will not recognize the difference and you will be able to then turn them over and say, I found both cards and take your bow and applause. A quick final note, anytime you're performing any of these tricks, like the eight, nine trick, when you have the cards on the top and the bottom, you wanna make sure to not flash the bottom and reveal where one of the cards is coming from. So you always wanna make sure to point the back of the deck at the 
spectator's eye. That way, when you do the move, you won't expose the bottom of the deck where you're taking that nine from. That wraps up this week's episode of Card Class. If you learned the toss, please tag us at Official Bicycle Cards and let us know in the comments how you're liking the series. We would love to hear some of your feedback. All right, everybody, I'm your host, John Stessel, and we will see you next Monday.